All right, lesson 124, page 353, parallelograms, trapezoids. All right, so what we're doing in this lesson is we are finding the area of some parallelograms. So, so far we've found the area for rectangles and squares, base times height, triangles, base times height divided by two, circles, pi r squared. So we're going to use some of that knowledge to figure out the area of some parallelograms. So example 124.1 says find the area of this parallelogram. Dimensions are in inches. All right, so what you're going to do to solve these, and you just have to remember this, okay? I find that people don't have a hard time doing this, but they have a hard time remembering how or what to do. Um, and so that's what gets them, okay? If you see a parallelogram like this, okay? A lot of times people just wanna go six times four the area is 24. Okay, that's incorrect. What you're going to do is you're going to divide this into two triangles and you could do it that way too. And then you're going to do base times height for this triangle divided by two, base times height for this triangle divided by two. Okay, so for this bottom triangle, our base is six. What's our height? Okay, hopefully you remember that the height has to be perpendicular to the base, which means whatever the height is, it must form a right angle. So the height is not four. If you did six times four divided by two, you would be wrong. Four is not perpendicular to this base. That is not a right angle. So three would be our height, okay? So you're gonna do six times three, which is 18, and then divide that by two, since this is a triangle, and that'll get you nine. And then for the top one, the base is six, so times the height of three divided by two is nine. So you add nine plus nine, and you get 18 inches squared. Okay, that one was easy. Now, if you look at 124.3, skipping 124.2, says find the area of this trapezoid, dimensions are in feet. So you're going to do the same thing, all right? We can draw a dotted line here or here, Okay, let's go ahead and draw one here. So we're dividing this into two triangles. Okay, so for this triangle right here, we are gonna do base times height divided by two. Your base is six. Your height is not five. That's not a right angle. Your height is four. And if you wanna draw the height in there just to help you, you may. Six times four, 24, divided by two is 12. Okay, and then we have this triangle, nine is our base times four, 36. 36 divided by two, okay, that's gonna be 18. So we have 12 plus 18, okay? 12 plus 18, that's gonna be 30. So we get 30 feet squared, okay? 30 feet squared. For 124.4, this says, use two triangles to find a general formula for the area of a trapezoid. Okay, so we're going to find the formula, not the actual numerical value. Okay, so we can draw our dotted line. And then if we had the numbers, what we would do is, we would do this base times the height. So I'm gonna write base one times height. And we would divide that by two. Then we would do this base times the height and we would be adding these, and we would divide that by two. All right, so we have half of base times height, half of base times height, okay, and we would add those, and that would get us the total area. So that would be a formula. So if you could give somebody this formula, then give them the actual numbers, and all they would need to do is put the numbers in, and they would get the right answer. All right, go ahead and work the practice A and B on your own, and then when you're done, um, play the video and I'll give you the answers. I'm not going to show you how to do them because I think that if you get them wrong, you can figure it out on your own. So go ahead and do these practice problems. Okay, I'm assuming you've done these. Letter A is 21 meters squared and B is 28 meters squared. Okay, there's lesson 124.